welcoming home our troops. After almost a year in Afghanistan, friends and family greet the men and women from the 432nd Civil Affairs Battalion with open arms this morning in Green Bay. But emotions ran high for one family whose son couldn't make it to the ceremony. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval is live in the Green Bay newsroom with our big story. Heather, 100 soldiers and their families were honored today. Now, the group left from Green Bay in March of 2011. That's when they traveled down to Camp Atterbury in Indiana to train before beginning their deployment to Afghanistan. Members of the 432nd receive a hero's welcome. It's tough because you have to just catch up with what everything that happened while you were gone. Husbands, wives, sons and daughters all reconnecting with their families after months overseas. Be with my son, be with family members is just uh, it's a great thing to be able to come home and, and just enjoy this again. Many political leaders express their thanks to the servicemen. Well, there's a lot of pride. There's a lot of pride and there's just the sense of happiness and relief to have them back reintegrated in the community. Soldiers who were deployed for the first time received keepsakes for their service, including a flag, pins, and a coin of excellence. Kristen Dodds talks about the most challenging experience during the time in Afghanistan. Just uh, integrating with their culture and learning the do's and don'ts of how to get the most out of our interactions with them. But the 432nd was missing one of their own. Sergeant Adam Alexander was shot in the head in November during the deployment. His family attended the welcome home ceremony for him. It's awesome to see them all here and to reconnect with them, but in another way it's very bittersweet because we wanted that moment with Adam. Sergeant Alexander is currently at Walter Reed. His mom says she hopes to have him discharged by this fall to reconnect with his battalion. Now, these welcome home warrior ceremonies have become a tradition in the Army Reserve since September 11th. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Cassandra Duval, NBC 26.